Big Cat here, Paws Up! And this is my landing page for BUSR. BUSR is the hottest new sports betting partners, home of the exclusive double down deposit within 24 hours of your initial deposit. Whether it's the first basket, first kick, or whether it's the first pitch, BUSR has you covered. Sign up now with the official sports betting partner, home of the double down deposit, 24 hours after your initial deposit. Seeky, for all your ticketed events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code KEYPOUNDINTV. Hey everybody, I'm your host of Grunted Guy to also known as the Big Cat. My cool cat, put your balls up if you're rocking with the Big Cat. Good morning, get your bagel, man. Listen, today we're going to talk about Carolina Panthers' new kicker, Eddie Pinero. His daddy's on the team. Does that make him any good? Huh? We'll talk about it. <laughs> Let's get into it. If you see this face, that means I score. Before we get started, peep. What's that sound? No, it's too early. Peep, peep. Somebody's peeping. This. Come on, bruh. We doing this this morning? Look, man, if you're new to the channel, man, stop peeping. Just subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. No one likes a peeper. Only you can prevent the peeping. Head over to KeyPoundedTVShop.com, buy some merchandise from your favorite podcaster. Also, be sure to check out KeyPounded TV Podcast, our second channel. Head over there, once we get 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away three Xbox Series S's. Be sure to join the Discord, man. It's a real cool, fun community. We talk sports in the whole nine. TikTok, again, KeyPounded TV Podcast. Last but not least, be sure to follow me over at KeyPounded TV on Twitter. With that being said, newly acquired kicker, Eddie Pinero. Jalapeno, Japento. am I saying it right? Eddie Pinero <laughs> calls his new coach daddy. Calling you daddy, daddy, I need a daddy. <laughs> Got a sick free raw shit going on this morning, man. Listen, man, let me read the quote. Here's what Eddie Pinero had to say about his little family reunion with Chris Tabor former Chicago Bears special team coordinator and current Carolina Panthers coordinator. And I quote, I literally tell him he's like my second dad. Just the way he coached me, used me on the field to the best of my potential. And Ben, it's been amazing. He's always kept up with me throughout my career. I can't complain, close quote. I have no problem with this. You know, we all build relationships, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, if you live long enough, you know, you'll meet some really good people, even if you move on from job to job. And you always say, man, hmm, if I, if I ever become a boss or if I ever have an opening, that guy I used to work with, that guy who was a pretty good guy, I want to bring him up. So there's nothing wrong with that. But the question is, does that make him any good? Now, the problem with Eddie is he's inconsistent. Big, powerful leg, and he can be accurate at times. But his biggest issue is consistency. Again, last year, 2019, excuse me, which was considered his best year with the Chicago Bears, him and Chris Tabor. He made 23 of 28 field goals, but that's after he missed four out of seven field goals in the middle of the season, dropping him to 31st in the NFL. But over the last five games of that season, he made all 17 kicks. Now, going into the 2020 season, he would have been named the starter, but in training camp or preseason, he ended up hurting his hamstring and going on IR. So that was the end of his tour in Chicago. 2021, he had uh, some tryouts, so he went on a waiver wire, was picked up by the Washington uh, fuck-off team. Of course, you weren't going to beat out Joey Sly, you know, Ron Rivera and that connection up there. He also had Michael Bagley from the Indianapolis Colts. Couldn't beat him out to eventually where he ended up landing with the New York Jets. And he went eight for eight on his field goal before they waived him. Now, I'm not worried about, you know, him staying healthy. Hopefully, you know, I think, you know, when you're using your leg, you know what I mean? That's all you're doing on the football field. Of course, you're going to suspect some injuries. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a pitcher, man. Like, uh, you know, all those dudes do just throw the ball, man. They throw it. You bend it. You curve it. You slider i mean at some point you expect for that arm to go out you know what i mean it's just a freak of nature the same way with kicker so you can, i can't really clown him for having a hamstring injury 
or any other kicker having any kind of injury. You know what I mean? It, it happens, man. You know what I mean? Because those guys have powerful, powerful legs. You got to think about it, man. When you're swinging that thing so hard and so fast, I don't know. Go look at the thumbnail. I want you to look at the thumbnail. I want you to see how his foot is bending. You know what I mean? Why he's kicking that ball. I mean, it's, it's literally like a bat, man. I mean, anything can happen, man. There's a lot of you know tight muscles and ligaments. That's why it's important for you to stretch. But anyway, my point is, I understand how injuries happen, but it's not my main concern with him. It's the consistency factor here. I don't know what it is with Carolina Panthers. We love injury thing, injury prone thing. We got an injury prone receiver, injury quarterback. You know what I mean? Got injury, <laughs> injury history, and that kind of makes me mad here because, you know, as much as we praise Scott Fitterer for the things he have done, and I give him credit, he has done a lot of great in Carolina. But when it's the little things that make you, you know what I mean, special. You know what I mean when it comes to GM, the Ozzie Newsomes and stuff like that. When you're out here allowing for Matt Rule, you know what I mean, to hold the clipboard and draft uh, a kicker who's no longer, not a kicker, but a, a long snapper that's no longer with us. When you could be drafting a kicker, a, a pretty good kicker. Kickers are still, really good kickers are still available in the six, seven round here. So stuff like this question, it, you know, I question it. You know what I mean? I scratch my head a little bit like, hmm, while well, you guys are goofing off taking long snappers, pretty sure it was a kicker we could have had on our practice squad, you know what I mean, for something like this to happen, you know, if something like this happened. So, but when you look at the history of the Carolina Panthers uh, kicker situation, you got Graham Gano. Obviously, we picked him up after waving Harrison Buckner. Look how that turned out. Shout out to Harrison Buckner. You know what I mean? You got John Casey. You know what I mean? Then you got Joey Sly. Then you got Zane Gonzalez. And then, um, what's the big burrito you motherfucker? Um, the dude we had from the Giants. Uh, the dude with the mustache. Damn. I mean, it just like, <laughs> it's just like it never stops, man. You know what I mean? It just never stops when it comes to this kicker situation here. And I'm telling you, man, this season, it's going to come down, man. It's going to come down to some games where we're going to have to win it on the leg of a kicker. And I pray, you know, Tis Tabor, Chris Tabor being his daddy, you know what I mean? Maybe he know how to get him motivated right, you know what I mean? That's pretty. That's a pretty strong word to call another man that's not your blood, daddy. So hopefully daddy get him lubed up. I mean, I mean, motivated to where... You know, he can be consistent enough because I'm telling you, this, I, let me pull up the schedule real quick, man. When I look at the schedule, bro, I'm telling you, man, I can see at least five games coming down the kicks. You know what I mean? And, I, and it looks like the dude got his act straight now from the 2019 debacle. Hasn't really had a bad showing since. He's just been bouncing around here, man. But when you look at games like the Niners game, I consider that a, a field goal possibly game. Bengals game could come down to a field goal game. You know what I mean? Uh, of course, the division rival game. You never know how those going to go. You know what I mean? So, my thing is this, man. It definitely does matter here. But uh, if I had to give my, my unbiased opinion, I don't really think we got a really good kicker. I think we got a streaky kicker. You know what I mean? This is a guy probably is going to look real good probably through the first four games. You know, Browns, Giants, Saints, Cards. And, you know, going up against the, you know, the, the, the Niners, the Rams, the Bucks, could look like shit. Or I could be wrong. I'm just, you're just giving my opinion here, man. But uh, yeah, for him having such a streaky history, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. But at this point, what, what do we got? What do we got here, man? I mean, we just season about to start. Zane Gonzalez was, you know, he hurt himself on on the sideline. You know, he didn't get hurt in action. He just got hurt on the sideline. So. Man, my Carolina Panthers, man. I don't know, man. I don't know who else was available, man. But, uh, yeah, man. So, hopefully this, is, this this doesn't come back to bite us. And, you know, Chris Tabor and, and the chemistry and rapport that he has with him pays off. And he can stay healthy, all right? I'm your host, at Grinding Gato, also known as the Big Cat. My cookie, put your paws up. Rock with the Big Cat. Tell me what you guys think, man. You think we got a good kicker? Streaky kicker? How you feel about him? Now, how do you feel about uh, Scott Fitter allowing Matt Rule to take a long snapper instead of just putting another kick on the roster, drafting and putting him on the practice squad? Huh? I don't know, man. Make sure you subscribe, man. Check out the Spotify and Apple Music, Amazon Music, Panthers on Sister on all platforms. Um, let's get up out of here, y'all. Let the church say, pause up, keep pounding, Carolina on top, forever, baby. Thank you guys for watching the channel. Be sure to subscribe. 
hang around for a little bit and check out one of these two really cool videos.